Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Passport Elite 31RI. This is a great couples model, it has an excellent setup, and it's still fairly lightweight for being a little bit bigger travel trailer. It comes in right around 6,500 pounds. Let's actually start off right here though. So as soon as you come in, you have the control panel on this wall right over here. You swing around the corner and take a look at this. You have some good versatile storage. You have a couple different options here. If you want, even you have removable shelves so you can take all these out, use that hanging rod as a coat closet. If you like camping in the fall, spring, need to hang a lot of jackets up, that's perfect. If you don't, maybe you're a summer camper, you don't really need to hang things up, then you can use this as a linen closet as it is straight across the bathroom or even as extra pantry. So you do get a lot, again, a lot of versatility out of that cabinet right there. Right down underneath here is your uh, fuse box. You'll see your fuses over here, your breakers right next to that. And then coming a little bit further, you have mirrors on the doors here. Just kind of gives the illusion of being a little bit bigger. Uh, but if we take a look inside there, it does have some extra storage. Same thing right over here. So it does just make for, you know, nice little extra pantry storage. Then as we make our way uh, right into here, folks, this is one of my favorite parts about this kitchen. You get this beautiful center island. You'll see that solid surface countertops here, which is awesome. Uh, not only do they look great, but they're a lot more durable. And it allows for solid surface sink top covers as well. So that way, all this is great usable prep space. I really like when they put solid surface in lightweight units because I know they're trying to save weight and solid surface isn't light, but I certainly appreciate the fact they do it. That will reveal your double bowl undermount stainless steel sink there when we take those covers off. And up top, you have the high-rise pull-out faucet. So this makes washing and rinsing dishes way easier. And if you need to fill, like, uh, fill up like a pitcher or something over on the side, you can do that. You have an electrical outlet on the front if you need to plug anything in. And right uh, in the front here, you have a bank of three drawers going along this side. And then additional storage right underneath the sink here. Across the other way, again, beautiful solid surface over here. You have a recessed cooktop with a glass cover. That way you can utilize this as prep space. Fold that up and back. That will reveal your three burner cooktop, the front one being high output. And you have an oven underneath if you want to do some baking. Over to the side of that, look at that folks, more storage. This is nice and open. I'd probably put pots and pans here just because it is so big. But again, you can use it for whatever you want. You'll see that you have a window here, LED light right there, microwave up top. Little additional storage right over here. You'll see that you kind of have a crushed glass look on there, which is pretty neat. When we open that up, you'll see great storage there. And then the hood with both a light and fan. Uh, if we take a look right over here, this is pretty cool too. Open this up. Look at that in there, folks. That's good extra storage space too. So again, additional pantry. So they did a good job of really giving you a lot of storage in here. Over to this side right here is your entertainment center. So if we take a look, that's right across from our chairs. We'll see those in just a bit. But uh, big TV, you have a great viewing angle from the chairs or from the sofa. Multimedia center up top here. This is a CD player and a DVD player. It's already pre-wired, so you can just pop a movie right in. And it's also Bluetooth capable. So if you have music on your phone or if you've downloaded the latest uh, Stories from the Road podcast, you want to listen to that in here, you can just hook up to it via Bluetooth. We open this up. You see storage right up there. And then making our way back a little bit, right along the back wall here is the sofa. So cool thing about this, folks, this is a tri-fold sofa, which is pretty comfortable for any guests that want to stay the night. If you look, you can see this is actually the cushion they get to sleep on so they don't have a big bar in your back. You're not going to have an air mattress that deflates on you. Uh, great place to sit. You can lay down here, watch TV if you want. And again, like I said, you can accommodate guests that want to stay the night. On both sides there, you have your end tables with electrical outlets. So it gives you a spot to put your beverage down and plug things in. You have windows on both sides here with a little storage area up above. You know, it's not a ton, but at least they gave you something there. You also have the big rear picture window here, which lets in a ton of natural light, also gives you a great view out to the back. While we're back here, you can kind of see how this unit actually has a barreled ceiling too. You can see that. That gives you a lot more head height in here. And you have the wood strips going across instead of the tape, uh, which again, you know, helps give it that little more aesthetic piece, helps give it that pop and appeal. 
right over here in our super slide. So this is a little bit different take. Normally they'd have theater seating here, but instead they went with a swivel rocker. Uh, I don't mind it. I kind of like being able to, you know, sit here in a rocker and watch TV. It's actually kind of nice. And if you want to put your feet up, you can buy like a little pot or something from Meyer, you know, or, or whatever uh, local superstore you have, Walmart, Target, whatever. Put it underneath. You can just kind of put your feet on it. And that way you can kind of put your feet up. But I do like that those are there. And then coming over a little bit further is the U-shaped dinette. I enjoy this too, especially, you know, even though this is a uh, couple's coach, uh, I like the fact they put in a U-dinette because if you do have additional guests, everyone can sit around here and play a game together. When I go camping, I like to entertain. I like to have people around, friends, family. That's one of the big reasons I go. So you can sit here, have all your friends over, play a game together, eat breakfast together or dinner, whatever it may be. Plus, again, if you need to stay the night, the table can drop down, sit on the rails there, fill it with cushions, and you can have two more adults sleep here. Also, for storage, it is easy access. Look at that. Just open that up. It's great extra storage in there. It's, again, one of the advantages of having a uh, dinette over having a freestanding table and chairs, obviously, is the storage you get. And then right up here, we kind of come to the, uh, the end of the kitchen, if you will, and that is our fridge freezer. We open that up. You have the freezer up top, fridge right down below, cut out there. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Right here on the wall is your thermostat. This controls both the ducted heat as well as the ducted AC. The bathroom has two entrances and exits, one into the master bedroom, the other one into the main living area. Right in between the two is our foot flush lever toilet. You'll see you have plenty of leg room here as well as good shoulder space. Even with the door shut, you know, again, I can still fit in here. I'm pretty broad, so I'm kind of touching on both walls, but most people shouldn't have an issue. Right across the way here is our shower. The thing I like about this, the new angle shower, is the doors are in a roller track. That way all the water goes right down the door and in the shower pan rather than all over the floor. I'll step in here for you. I'm six foot. As you can see, folks, I have plenty of space, especially if you're tall. You can actually stand underneath the skylight and get that much more room out of it. You also have the hand wand in here and a couple of shelves. Over on this other side, mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that. You'll see you have your sink top here and some storage underneath that too. The bed in here is a residential queen size bed. So it is a full 60 by 80 inches. That's a big deal, folks. If you're a tall person, you're sick of your feet hanging off, you don't have to worry about it in here. It is, uh, again, a residential size queen. When I lift that up, you will see the storage underneath. You can see the grill right there that comes with it. We'll see where that goes when we head outside. On both sides of the bed, you have mirrored wardrobe. You'll see the hanging rod going across there, so you have a spot to hang your clothes as well as a little shelf up top. Uh, you also have storage going all the way across the top. Kind of has a crushed glass look on there, which is pretty neat. And you can see the Elite going across the top there. Uh, you know, again, it's kind of showing off that barreled ceiling. You have a vent on the ceiling here. You also have uh, hookups for a TV if you want a TV. And you have electrical outlets on the side of the bed in case you need to charge a cell phone or plug in a CPAP machine. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2018 Passport Elite 31RI. Right up front here is your power tongue jack. You'll see that uh, it's nice and easy to operate. Just flip a switch here that will raise and lower the tongue. Makes it really simple to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. You also have a light on there for a little extra visibility at night. Behind that, you have two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover. You have rails here for your battery. You can see the battery box there. And on the far side, you will also see you have solar prep. So if you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable panels plug it in right there and it will trickle charge the battery. Coming up the front here, you have the black diamond plating which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And you kind of have a pseudo cap on here. It doesn't roll over like a full cap, but it does still give a nice look to the front end of the camper. Swinging around to the side, we'll look at the pass-through. You'll see how it has a covered hinge so you don't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. It's also slam latch, so that's pretty darn convenient and it is magnetic, so you don't have to worry about any clips or anything. If we take a look inside there, you'll see it is very open. Same size door on the other side, so you can fit large items in here, be able to access them from either side, and you have an LED light in case you need to get in there at night. If we drop down below, we can take a look at the frame. One of the things you'll notice is this right here. Those are huck bolts, so this frame is huck bolted together instead of being welded. The advantage of huck bolt, there's, there's two big advantages that uh, people generally talk about. 
One is the fact that when your frame starts to rust, the first place it starts to rust at is usually right at that weld seam. So by eliminating that weld seam, you help reduce the chance for rust to start there. Also, if it ever does have any damage, the huck bolt frame is much easier to repair, meaning it will save you money. Another thing you can kind of see right here is that this one does have a fully enclosed underbelly that is also heated. So as long as you have the furnace on, it will force the heat into that underbelly, meaning it'll help prevent your lines and tanks from freezing up on you. So if you're camping late in the fall, early into the spring, you shouldn't have any worries overnight. Going back a little further, you have three steps to get in here. They do have aluminum treads, so they won't rust. They'll stay looking beautiful. And you have the grip tape on there, so that way you have a little extra traction. Plus, you have the foldable grab handle here as well, which also gives you extra control when entering the RV. You see a power awning, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go back in with an LED light strip on there. And you have your two outside speakers here. Those are controlled by that multimedia center inside, but as I mentioned previously, that unit is Bluetooth capable, so you can sit out here and be able to connect to it. You have a, your electrical outlet right here, so if you need to plug anything in outside, that will be the place to do it. And if you take a look at the wheels down there, you'll see they are gorgeous aluminum alloy wheels. Again, because they're aluminum, they won't rust. Also, another cool thing, you can kind of see how they're spread a little bit further apart. That's what they call load equalization axles, which essentially is a widespread axle system. Because the axles are further apart, it will help reduce sway when going down the road, meaning it will tow nicer than a lot of the other travel trailers out there. Then right back here is your outside kind of entertainment area. Uh, as you saw, we do have a grill. I'll show you again where that goes in a bit. But right up top is a TV, so if you want to watch the game, you can sit around and be able to watch that. You have a pretty good storage spot right here. I mean, this is pretty big. You can fit all sorts of things in here, whether you, know, you want to put uh, cups, plates, things like that. Or maybe, you know, if you want to party, you can put alcohol out here. You know, it's tall enough. You can fit a lot of bottles in there, whatever else you want. But, uh, you know, that is a great storage spot. Right here is your outside fridge. So this is where you obviously have your beverages, condiments, things like that. And then you have this little pull-out prep surface right here. Coming around to the back, so right here is the mount for that grill. We saw the grill that was underneath the bed. This is the mount for it. Directly underneath that is your propane quick connect. That's what you'll hook it up to. That way it's feeding off your 20-pound uh, bottles up front rather than having to bring the small separate ones. Also mounted on that bumper is your spare tire. Hopefully you never have to use this, but if you do, it's in a really easy spot to get at, plus it has a cover, so it should be in good shape. The bumper itself has end caps. You can take those end caps off so you can store your sewer hose in there. This is that beautiful rear picture window, and right above that is backup camera prep. This is a decent sized travel trailer. If you want a backup camera, having the prep makes it a lot easier to install, meaning it will save you money on installation. Right over here, your cable inlet. And right here on the back side is your 30 amp power cord. Here on the off door side is your outside shower. This does have both hot and cold water access. And right above that is your black tank flush. So that way when you're done camping, hook a hose up right here. That black tank has sprayers built in and it'll wash out anything that gets left behind. Lastly, folks, right up here in the front are your water connections. If you plan on doing some boondocking, you'll want to fill your fresh water tank. That is right here. And right next door to that is your city water inlet. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Keystone Passport Elite 31RI. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.